Hello, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't have quite as much space as the studio would have, but I am just so grateful that you chose to do this. Uh, my space is what it will be. My head might be a little bit cut off when we stand up, but um, you won't need to see me. You can just listen to my voice. So thank you for taking this time. I know that we all need a little more calm, a little more care in this season. So I'm proud of you for opening this video for however many minutes you will choose to practice. So make it your own. Please listen to your body the whole time. You're at home, so you can do whatever you want. You don't have to follow me, but you can use it as a guide and um, a pathway to listening deeper to your own body and your own spirit's voice. So I thought what we could all use is just a time to breathe to start. So to get your posture, you could hug your knees, take your shoulders, take them back, add a little air and space in your collarbone, let your heart lift, and then a gentle tuck of your chin, lengthen the back of your neck, thinking about the crown of your head, let it go. And then as you exhale, feel your tailbone, let it go back and sink. And take a couple breaths, just where you feel your belly pressing against your legs and find comfort in that. You don't have to have any effort. You can just feel your breath, this ever-present care in your own body. And then when you're ready, you can cross your ankles, let your knees open to a nice easy sit, and feel the length in your spine. Lengthen the crown of the head up again, shoulders back, add that air around the collar. And then to start, take one hand and place it on your heart. And then take the other hand low on your belly. And take a few deep breaths. If you feel comfortable, just close your eyes. And notice your breathing without changing it at first. Simply feel the rise, the fall. And our breath often tells us things that we need. So notice its texture. If it's catching at any moment. And just find some comfort in this moment to breathe. And now focus on your lower hand and breathe into that. Really make it move. Send your belly out and that's going to touch the vagus nerve beneath your lungs, which naturally calms you. And then bring it back in. Exhale your whole breath. And that'll help your inhale be fresh. So take a couple more, simply feeling your lower hand feeling the weight and the care, and moving your belly deeper. And now take a moment to scan your body. What is it that you need? Are there any spaces in you that have been carrying a lot lately? Use your breath for a couple moments to lay warmth and care on those spaces like a warm compress, lay heavy on the broken areas. Let your breath bind and unite and heal. Maybe find one more space that's tight or just needs to be seen and spend a moment breathing and laying comfort on that space. And then one more deep exhale, and you can let that go. Hands can come to your knees, and we're just going to warm up our spine. Inhale, and as you breathe in and open your belly, lean your chin forward. And then exhale and roll back. So when your lungs collapse, you breathe out. And then inhale and roll forward. So the tailbone goes up and back, chin forward. And then exhale, and you're going to do like a cat, where you stretch your back and round. And you can take this at your own pace. I want you to follow your breath. If there's this place that feels tight, you could linger and kind of wiggle and then keep going for a little bit. And stay with your breath. If anything rises up in your mind that causes a little tightness in your body, maybe just come back to the breathing. Send comfort to that space. And then when you're ready, reverse directions, inhaling, opening the chest and exhaling back and rounding. Nice deep breath. 
Is anywhere in your body getting tight that doesn't have to be? Could you loosen that space? Even if it's ever so gently. Just about one more. And taking the time that you need to come back to center, we're going to do a couple bellows breath where you inhale and open your waist, lift into a tiny back bend. And then exhale and round into a forward fold. So inhaling, bellowing, open, breathing, and exhaling, letting it go. And notice your spine again. Can you lengthen here? Tail to crown. And then can you round and relax, giving space to the back of the vertebrae? And just a couple more. And last one, your own pace. Let everything be your own. You do not have to follow my time. And then take your leg and just spin it out. So your feet are going in one direction, knees in the other. Place your hands on your knees. Breathe in and lift the crown of the head, heart open, shoulders back. And then exhale, spin away from your feet. So you can gently touch your thigh and even squeeze your glute a bit to open up the hip. So just warming up. Not too intense as we start. And then you can let your eye gaze go back if that feels okay. And I want you to think about length again. Can you lengthen the crown of the head up, tailbone down? And breathe. Where can you relax here? Where can you find calm and comfort? And is there anywhere that feels tight right now that doesn't have to be? Take a moment to soften that space. And we are just warming, but if you feel ready to lift off, you're going to put weight in your back hand and then squeeze your glutes to rise your hips up and spin your other arm back. So it's a long space between the wrist and the knee on the ground. And what can you do here to lengthen your spine? Let your tailbone go out of your body, crown of the head lengthen away, shoulders back to kiss. And one more deep breath in, opening, feeling your stretch. And then lengthening and come down, exhale. And we'll switch. So you just swing your feet to the other direction. Knees away. Inhale, lift up. So it's the tail and the crown. You can even use your hands as biofeedback to kind of help you lengthen up. And then once you find that, just add a little space, shoulders up. It's as if you're holding something between the shoulder blades behind you. Yeah. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, spin away from your feet again. A gentle touch on your thigh, shoulders back, crown up. And then find your breathing. This time, can you lean into the exhale? So when we twist, it's a lot of nourishment for our spines, our bodies, and all the inner organs. So when you breathe out, you massage them. So each inhale and each exhale, really lean into the breath out. See if that helps you go deeper feel cared for and nourished. And then one more deep breath. And if your body, again, if it feels ready, you can put weight into the hand behind you and then inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, find that softening again. So lean into your breath's gifts. And then length. So there's always potential for length. So can you lengthen the crown away from your tailbone? And find opening in your heart, shoulders back. And one more deep breath in. And then exhale and bring it down. So we're going to use our whole mat now, coming to the side. So bring your knees right underneath the hips and then your wrists right under your shoulders, all fours. And we're going to do the same feeling in the shoulders. So again, you bring them together to kiss behind and then lengthen the crown from the tail. So what you might feel is low belly strength and obliques coming in to help your core do that. And then waking up side to side, opposite arm and leg, inhale and reach out. And you can flex the foot if you like. I enjoy the way that that feels on my calf stretching. But find the tailbone again. So if you feel like it's rolling under, I want you to just lift it out, lengthen the crown, and at the same time, hug the rib cage. Yeah, so that's your strength. Inhale. And then exhale and bring it down. We'll do the other side. So maybe you want to find your length again so that you feel even. And then inhale, lift up. Maybe that flex in the ankle. Hold the ribs, shoulders, tail and crown lengthen. One more breath in. And exhale it down. 
So now if you want to go side to side, inhale, reach out. Feel stable. That box you made with your shoulders and hips. Exhale down. So at your own pace. But maybe go slow today. When we breathe slow, we provide a little extra care and comfort to our inner bodies. So slow it down. And if you want, you can even add a pause in between your breath as if you're holding your breath. And that naturally calms down your nervous system. So anytime you need it, your breath can be an avenue to finding a little more calm in it. And now when you're ready, if you want to add on, we're going to inhale out and then exhale, knee and elbow come together. And you're going to do a cat stretch. So chin can come in a little bit. And then inhale back out. And can you find that space again? So what you want to avoid is this arching of your back. You want to hug your ribs in and then lengthen the tail and the crown again. And exhale down, other side, inhale, reach out. Exhale, cat. And then inhale, reach. And again, try to avoid that back bend and lengthen the tail. So one more each side, your own pace, your own breath. And where can you provide care? Inhales can help something in your body expand. And exhales, you can release something. So one more time, inhale, expand what you want to expand. Exhale, release what's no longer serving you. And then again, breathe in. And come on down. So we're coming to down dog. So if you've not done that before, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, and push back. And what you want to find is a spinning out of your armpits. So that enables you to find that motion of kissing your shoulder blades together in the back. So you want to feel that again here, your heart's opening. And then you want the tail and the crown to lengthen away from each other again. So just like we practiced while we were sitting down. So you might need to bend the knees to do that. So if you feel like your tailbone is going under, you want to be careful. So bend the knees, your tail will go up. Heels do not have to go down. That's all in flexibility that you gain over time. So if this is ever too much for your body, I want you to drop your knees and shift back. You can do what's called puppy pose, where you stretch your chest, or child's pose, where you lay your forehead down, your hips down. Take a few deep breaths in the pose that your body wants in this moment. Inhaling, providing a little more health and life. And exhaling comfort, care, stability. So if you're in down dog, I want you to think about pressing down through your palms and your feet, lengthening up through your tail. So it all starts in that base of support. One more deep breath. And then take a moment to play around. So if you're in down dog, I want you to bend a knee, extend the opposite heel, rock maybe side to side. So you can come out of alignment just enough to get some little tiny waking up, but be gentle. And then when you're ready, come back to your down dog. Take a nice deep in-breath, lengthening the tail up, opening the heart. And exhale, walk to your hands and allow yourself to forward fold. So here, take a nice deep out breath. Just let everything go. Knees are soft, so we want to avoid the hyperextending in the back. And this first time, it could feel really good to shake your head yes and no, to roll your shoulders. Maybe wiggle the hips around. Do anything that your body feels like would be great. And then lengthening the back of the body, hands to shins. Inhale and lengthen up. So find that motion of hugging between your shoulder blades again. Lengthen the crown of the head to the tail. So it might feel like you're tucking your chin. One more deep breath in. And then exhale and let go. We're going to do that two more times. Find your breath and inhale up, lengthen. And exhale out, let it go. One more, just lean into the breath and let yourself be. Exhale it out. This time, bend your knees and inhale, press down to rise up. So feet push down and we'll rise up. Lengthen and exhale, hands to heart. So here we're going to find our first mountain pose. So you want to be near the head of your mat. And then take a nice deep breath. Maybe let go of any tension that you notice rose up. Find your feet by, if you can, closing your eyes. 
and then push down into the ball of the foot. And once you feel that, I want you to equally push down into your pinky toe so you spread the weight. Push down into what feels like your inner heel. And once you've found that, push down to the outer heel. And what you did by pushing down into four corners on your feet is lift the arch. That's going to help open your ankle. So soften your knees so that opening can come up your body. And then I want you to feel it. It's going to be subtle, but in your hips. Imagine your hips opening forward, the pelvis opening forward. And at the same time, your tailbone going back. Yeah, you can go a little bit down, but it's mostly just back. I want you to create space. That might feel like your obliques, your low abs coming in to help you do that. And then exhale, shoulders come back. Hands can come to the heart if you want, or just stay open by your sides. And then lengthen the crown of head up. So you feel that hug of the rib cage, the shoulders kissing, the collarbones smiling up. And now take a nice deep exhale down into your feet. And take a few deep breaths. And I want you to soak in what your posture feels like. So you have your four corners in your feet. You have this opening through your joints rising up and the strength supporting your posture. And take a moment to breathe. And notice what you feel like when you're alone. And maybe you can remember a time where you felt aligned in your own life. And what did that feel like physically? And just draw that into your muscle for a moment. And then in this moment, what is it that you need? What do you need physically? What is your body sending? And may you take that and use it in your practice. So whatever we do from here on out, nourish those spaces in you. Maybe they need to be strengthened or opened or cared for. So we'll adapt this practice to meet those needs in you. All right, one more deep breath in. Let everything go. And then we're gonna rise. Inhale and reach up. So you can stretch your arms up, lengthen the tailbone back, crown up. And then exhale, dive down. So knees bend, heart opens and we forward fold. Hands to shins, or you can do under the toes this time, and then flat back for gorilla. So the shoulders, we still want them to kiss, rib cage in, yeah. And then exhale down, knees bend, and step your leg closest to knee, step it back. So you just wanna remember what side you're on, so you can do the, the other side next time. Finding your low lunge, I want you to find the same footing that we did in mount fell, so in mountain pose. So push your ball of your foot, Pinky toe, inner heel, outer heel. And then same with the back toes, all five, can you evenly spread them. And then shoulders, you want them to touch, to lay on their ribs. And then tail and crown lengthen. And take a few deep breaths. And leaning into that peace and comfort that we need right now, I want you to feel your belly moving in and out. I want you to feel it hugging your thighs. Science shows that even our own touch can provide the same healing that a hug from another can. Let's really lean into that. Yeah. One more deep breath. Feel your own comfort. And we're going to twist. So take the hand that's closest to your front leg, and you're going to spin towards that knee. So face that knee. You're going to face away from me and lift that arm up. Spin your shoulders back. And if you feel like you lost the length in your tailbone, I want you to lengthen again. Away from the crown, hug your ribs in using your upper abs. And then extra comfort right now. I want you to lay that hand on your back. Just let it wrap and rest wherever it will. And staying aligned, I want you to think about your back knee in your mind. And it might be rolling in towards that front foot. I want you to roll it out so it's in line with the middle of your back toes. That might help you feel a little more balanced, a little stronger. If this feels too hard, just drop the back knee at any moment. A couple more deep breaths. Feel your belly again. Feel your comfort. What can you let go of in this moment? Rolling the shoulders back, opening your heart. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach the arm behind you up. And exhale, press it down. Back to down dog. So we're going to tuck our toes, push the hips high, and step back. So again, you can find your puppy pose, your child's pose, whatever you'd like. And take a cleansing breath. What would that mean for you right now? 
Now find your alignment. Armpits spin out, shoulders kick. And maybe shrug a little bit as we lengthen our tailbone up. Knees bend. Crown of the head extending. Take one more cleansing breath. Let go of what you no longer need. And then inhale forward to your plank. So you can be kneeling or lifted. I'll show kneeling to start. Take your shoulders to touch. And again, you might lose your ribs where it looks like that. So I want you to hug your ribs in and that's going to support your spine. Yeah, tail and crown extend. Inhale. Exhale, lower as slow as you want. So the slower you go, the more challenging it is. Laying your body on the mat. And we're going to start with baby cobra. So you're going to put your toes back. Place them on the ground, and instead of letting the tailbone tuck in, I want you to bring it out. So we're going to lengthen away from the crown. So inhale, lift your heart without really using your hands. I want you to use your back, strengthening those muscles. And then exhale, lengthen the crown of the head away as you lay down. So two more times, leaning into the breath, inhaling, tailbone leans back, crown leans forward, and exhale down. So last time, simply breathe and listen to your body. Let it go. Tuck the toes, push and pull back to your down dog or whatever comforting pose you've chosen. And then breathe. So where can you add space in your body? Can you lengthen the hands away from the hips? Can you spin your armpits out to open your chest? Can you hug the ribs in to open your back? And take what would feel like a releasing breath. One more where you watch your ribs open in your mind. And then you watch them close. Inhale. And exhale, bend your knees. And I want you to step the leg that's closest to me forward. So this is going to mean you're on your opposite side as to what we just did. And then take a cleansing breath. Let go of any tension. Drop your knee if your body asks. And we'll find our alignment again. So feel like you're opening your heart, shoulders coming back. Tailbone and crown reaching away. And find your footing. Find all four corners on that front foot and press them down. And then the back foot, spread the toes. Take two more breaths. I want you to feel your belly. Let it be natural. Uninhibited. Let go of whatever tension you can. And then your arm closest to me, so the one closest to that front leg. I want you to lift it high. Shoulders come back, heart opens. And here's our knee alignment again. So I want you to think about reaching your knee over the midline of your toes, back knee, take it in your mind. And try to roll it out a bit if you feel like it rocked in. Arm, exhale if you like, let it rest. And then breathe, shoulders back. Can you lengthen crown to tail? And as you're touching your own body, feel the warmth and breathe into it. Find the comfort and the kindness that you're longing for in whatever area you need it. One more breath. And then inhale and reach up. Feel the inhale. And exhale, let it go. Knees bend and step forward and allow yourself to rest. This time, if you like, bend your elbows and I want you to hug your arms. And you can soften your knees as much as possible. And that's going to lengthen and round your back a little bit more. But here as you're hugging your arms, one, find the warmth. Find the care that's hidden in your own body. And then two, see how it tugs open your spine in a new way. Maybe you want to shake a bit here. Take two deep breaths, whatever you need, find it. Inhale. And then exhale, let that go. Bend the knees and inhale, rise up. So push the heels down. And if you like a little back bend, you want to take your tailbone back and then arc. So it's the opposite of coming under. I want you to let it go back. Yeah. And that's going to help open your spine and see if you can get length. So instead of going just back, it's an up. And take one more deep breath, opening into whatever stretch you picked. 
and then exhale in hands to heart. And we'll find our mountain again. So a lot of yoga is coming back to a new muscle memory, training your posture, training your presence, training your grounding. So it's okay if our body goes out of alignment. So we'll just find it again. So find the midline of the toes and place the knees right above that, hips right above it, shoulders right above, and lengthen head to tail, hugging the ribs in, and a little pressure in your hands and heart if you want. And then take a deep breath. Those places that needed care and comfort, come back in touch with them. What do they need in this moment? Has anything new risen up that needs a little more care? Find it. And then let it all go. And when you're ready, inhale and reach up. So keep that comfort in mind. Notice what you're working towards, your intention. And exhale, dive with it. Add comfort to those spaces. Hands to shins or under the toes and lengthen, shoulders kiss. And exhale, let it go. Knees bend. And we're going to step the leg that's farthest from me back. So again, this is all about just doing both sides. So make sure you just get your next side the next time we do this. Take a nice deep breath and exhale, find alignment first. So I want you to find your footing where you spread your weight. And then line up your knees, the line of the toes. That's super important here. And then I want your knee to be above your ankle. So if you feel a lot of people look like this, and that would hurt their knee joint. So you can use your hand to walk your foot forward. So I want you to find that. And then once you've got it, warrior one footing. So we step the back foot in until the heel goes down. So if it doesn't touch, I want you to step closer to your body or more out to the side, okay? So back foot in until the heel's on the mat. Inhale and rise up. And then this is all about your own body and what your body needs. So I want you to take the time you need to walk around until you feel like your knees are shining in the direction of the middle of your toes and that your feet are grounded. You're able to lift your arches by pushing the four corners down. And then arms up. So the tailbone is going to feel like it's going down, crown up, and the rib cage, we're knitting it in. So we're smiling the collar. And then just breathe. And as you breathe, maybe you want to use your breath again, the helpful tools that are hidden in there. So inhale, wash it over your body, breathing in health, breathing in opening, breathing in a newness. And then exhaling, letting go, finding a comfort, a calm, and a peace within. So two more breaths, washing over your body, inhaling health, newness, light. And exhaling, letting go of tension and what's holding you down. And one more. Hands are going to clasp back. We're going to open our heart center. So once you have your knuckles clasped, I want you to open your heart. And your tailbone can come out a bit. So you can make it just a tiny bit of a back bend. But do it as you lengthen up. And I want you to push down the outer edges of the feet and the big toes again. So find your footing. Nice deep breath. Now if you do yoga a lot and you really want to lean in, you can come to Humble Warrior where you lean downward and you reach the arms over. But only do that if you feel like you didn't lose your knee alignment. I want you to be safe. So nice deep breath. And then what are you bowing towards? What are you letting go of? Being humble and trusting the care that's around you. One more deep breath. And then inhale and rise up. We're going to come down. So exhale, lift the back heel, lower down, bend the knees, down dog, step back. And take a nice deep breath. So if your body is really asking for more rest, knees come down, hips push back, and just let yourself relax. So what is it that you need here? Take deep inhales and deep exhales. So a lot of this is just listening in. It's adapting to the ever-changing um, feelings in our body. It's learning to trust them, to know what needs comfort. So take a moment to just breathe. Soft knees, lifted tail, open heart, long spine. 
And when you're ready, strong hands. Inhale forward, find your plank. So maybe you want to be kneeling again, or maybe you want to be lifted. Can you lengthen here? Crown to tail, shoulders back, open heart. One more deep breath in. You've got this. And then exhale lower. So it's either halfway or all the way like we did last time. So if you're going halfway, you could inhale to up dog if you want. So if you're doing up dog, a couple things. Toes down. I want you to bring your tailbone and crown of the head away from each other. And then smile the collarbones open again. So shoulders kiss. Crown up. Chin tuck. Yes, you got it. One more deep breath in. And exhale back. And let yourself relax. So what needs that calm again, that comfort? Deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more cleansing breath. And then exhale and bend your knees. We're going to step the opposite leg forward. So I want you to have... The leg that, let's see, it's the leg that's farthest from me. That should be forwards. Just make sure you're on your other side. And alignment matters. So check your knee, shine it over the midline of your toes. Back knee and your mind are doing the same if you can't see it. Shoulders kiss. Take one breath and just let go of any tension that you're able to. Back heel, when you're ready, step it in. Push the heel down and then inhale, rise up. And take the time you need. What do you need in this moment? To realign till your feet feel grounded, your knees feel aligned, and your heart feels open. And then lengthen again. If you want to use your hands, it does help sometimes. It'll touch your tail, touch the crown. See the space you can find. And then knit your ribs together. Lift your arms. And breathe. And can you feel the breath? Let your belly move. Let it be uninhibited again. And maybe you want to scan down. Look how tight. Is there anything changed that needs care? And take one more moment to comfort that space. Inhale. And exhale, hands clasp behind. Find your alignment, opening your heart, knees in line with toes if you lost that. And a little back bend if you want. So the tailbone is going to go back. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, lean forward if your body really wants that. And then breathe. What would you feel better in life if you let go? As you bow here, simply let that rise up, find that. And see if you can exhale it out. Nice deep breath. Inhale. One more exhale. And then breathe in and come on up. We're going to come to warrior two. So I want you to open up. You're going to turn towards me. If you're not, maybe just move so you can see what we're doing. And then line up the knee so it is above the ankle or closer to you. So again, you want to avoid being over that ankle. It's going to keep our knees safe. And then your knees are going to be out so that they're in line with the toes in the direction that your toes are going. And then shoulders back. And tail and crown ahead. Crown and tail again. Line them up. Hug the ribs. And you can gaze over your front arm. And there's probably several reasons that we often do this. But it really does help you realize your strength. So I want you to see it. I want you to breathe a few times so that you can trust it. Your strength is always there hidden, just like your comfort is. And it's knowing how to trust these things in our bodies and creating pathways back to them that help us. So take a couple more breaths, just noticing. Inhale. And then exhale, back arm's gonna drop, front arm's gonna lift. We're opening into Sun Warrior. So again, I want you to notice your front knee. Find it in line with the toes. And then open your ribs here. Shoulders roll back. And even though we're bending, I want you to see if you can not collapse. So you lift up here. You're going to take a little more core strength. And then a deep exhale. Let go of what you're holding on to that doesn't need to be held. One more deep breath. And then rise up. Inhale, lift. 
we're going to switch sides. So since you're facing me, just turn the toes the other direction. You'll be able to bend that knee. So the key to the footing is just shining your knee in the alignment with the toes. So there's different ankle flexibilities for everybody. And then lengthen. Crown, tail, ribs high, shoulders back, arms out. So you can gaze down your front arm. And take a few more breaths. Feel like you're right in the middle. You're not leaning forward, you're not leaning back, you're right in the middle. In the present moment. Not worrying about the future. Not struggling with your past. But being right where you ever and always are. In the now. So take a few deep breaths, just feeling your strength, feeling the in and out. Feel your bellies. Inhale. And then exhale, back arm down and front arm up. And what is it that you're reaching towards? What are you opening up towards? Open both sides of your waist, shoulders come back. And again, your knee might want to lean in, so I want you to lean it back. I want you to find the midline of your toes. And keep relaxing. Whatever it is that doesn't need to be tight, can you let it come? And then one more breath. How expansive can your spine be? Tail down, crown up. Let it go, and then inhale and come up. So we're going to come to a forward fold. So I want you to turn your toes towards the long edge of your mat and then come down. So knees, I need you to have them soft. And then hands are going to come down. So you can be on a block or the ground. You can bend as much as you want your knees and then let yourself fold. And deep exhale. And I'm learning to listen to your body. What little movement would help you? Would it be coming up a bit? Would you feel better? Would it be rocking a tad just to find a stretch? Gentle on the knees. And then exhale, walk over to one side, hold on to the ankle, and lean away. Nice deep breath. Provide care and comfort for the long edge of your waist. Breathe into it. And then exhale to the other side. So again, soft knees and line up the toes. And then find your breath. Find the letting go. And one more deep breath out. And then support your body with your hands so that you can bend a leg and come into sit. And being on your mat, I want you to lengthen out your feet. Let me see how much you be able to see what we're doing. So lengthen out your feet. And then use your hands. I want you to walk your muscle part of your butt back. And that's going to help you sit your tailbone behind you and lengthen better. So instead of leaning forward, that helps us stay tall. And then here, if you feel like you're still curling under, you can bend your knees. That'll help. But we're going to be like a wave. So I want you to inhale, scoop up, lengthen, and then exhale, reach, reach, reach. And then let it go when you're at your fullest. Completely let go. Here, if you think your body still has length, I want you to wiggle your butt back a little bit more. And maybe flex the feet again and then let them go. But oftentimes we can rush ahead and I want you here to let go of effort. So instead of struggling with your arms to really reach, let them soften for a moment. Open your palms, tuck your chin, and just let go. With each exhale, let your body find comfort and then relax. One more deep breath, lengthening the whole back of your body. And then inhale and walk on up. I want you to take one leg and cross it over the other. So if it doesn't happen, you're just going to place it next to your thigh on the inside. But if you can, you can cross it over. And then with your opposite arm, you want to hug that knee. So you're turning towards it. And then the other hand, you're going to put behind you just like this and roll the shoulders back. Now lift just like we did at the beginning of our practice, lengthening the crown of the head and then sending the tailbone down. Nice deep breath in. And let it go. And use your exhale. So with each out breath, I want you to twist just a little bit deeper. 
opening your heart, rolling the shoulders back, and wringing out the waist to massage your inner organs. One more deep breath. And then let that go. And we'll switch. So you're gonna lengthen out your other leg and then cross or touch next to the other thigh. The opposite knee. And then hug towards your knee so you're spinning towards it. And take your other hand behind you now, like a second spine, shoulders roll back. Crown of the head lifts, and with each exhale, you turn back. And use your breath. So the inhales will naturally release you a little bit, and then the exhales will provide this letting go that helps you deepen. And can you listen to your body here? What does it need? Is there anywhere in you right now that is tightening that doesn't have to? Use your strength to serve you. So let go of those tight spaces and lean into your exhales. One more deep breath in and out and then let it go. So we're going to come to cobbler's pose where our feet are together. We're going to be opening like a book and my knees just wide. Everyone's body looks completely different in this. So I want you to let your body be as you are. Inhale, lift your heart. You're going to come a little past neutral, a little back bend, crown up, tail back. And then exhale, tuck your chin and just roll down as if you're peeling and opening the vertebrae. And then breathe. So you don't have to go far. I want you to go to wherever your body feels like it's stretching. And then see if you can lengthen even here, crown and tail. Nice deep breath. And how much can you let go? So what in your body wants to be released? Let it go. And when you're ready, inhale and push your hands to walk you up. And legs are going to come out. So I want your knees to be bent now. Shoulders coming back. And we're going to round to a half boat and then I'll give you the option if you want a full boat to work our abs a little more. You were working them the whole time by lengthening your spine. This is a little bit stronger and focused. So tailbone is going to be on the mat. So you might want to do that shuffle again where you get your uh, sit bones back, shoulders back, feet parallel with the hip bones, same with the knees, and then arms out. Inhale, shoulders back. And exhale, roll down as if you touch your tail. So we're doing what we don't do when we have a straight spine. We're now rounding. So you can tuck your tail under and start to roll your spine into a nice curve. So now you're in a partial boat. If you want, your heels can lift. If you want, your feet can lift. And if you want the full boat, you're gonna lengthen your legs, soft knees, shoulders back, heart open, and breathe. So a lot of times in abs, people wonder, how do I breathe? My abs are crunching in. Imagine your whole lungs, these huge bubbles that come in and out, and send them to your side ribs to the back and your side. Yeah, breathe fully. And then when you're ready, see how slowly you can lower down. And I want you to hug in one knee. So you want to take a leg in. <laughs> if you, you might not be able to do that. So you want to take your leg in. You might be able to hold your foot, your knee, or we're just going to lay back into a reclined pigeon. So if you want a deeper version, you're going to hug the foot into your elbow and then lay back and breathe. So I'm going to make sure you can see me, but just hug your leg and take a few breaths. And you can even rock a bit. So in this reclined pigeon, you're welcome to experiment by rocking slightly, and that might open or just nourish comfort your hips. A lot of times we hold tension in our hips. It can be just physical from sitting all day, but it can also just be emotional. If that's where we get tight, we don't realize it. And now scan your body. Is there a softening that you could make even in your neck, your shoulders? We want you to expand that softening throughout your body. And then take the foot that you have in your elbow or your hand, and I want you to put that foot towards the ceiling, and then hold either your instep or your outstep, 
and hug the knee next to your rib cage. So this is a half of a happy baby. So happy baby is when we have both legs. I want you to just do half, and that's going to open your opposite hip. You can put your hands on that thigh and just kind of spread these two points apart. One more deep breath in, and let it go. So to switch, I want you to lengthen the foot that was in your hand on the mat, and then hug the opposite knee into your shoulder, and then guide that foot across your body. So again, you might just hold gently your foot, your knee, or you might want to hug it in and then clasp around and rock a little. You can also call this rocking the baby. So just breathe. And where can you find comfort in this pose? What feels nourished at this moment? And what can you soften? And then gently come into that half happy baby. I want you to put that foot in the air and then hold the out step or in step and hug the knee close to your body. And then the opposite hand on your thigh and just lengthen your knee points. Shoulders back, relaxing our neck and breathing. Just a couple more things to lengthen our body and let ourselves find the care that we need. So deep the knees in, hug them tight. We're gonna lengthen our spine first. So lift your tail, lift your head, and feel how you're rounding and lengthening. And then send those points down longer than they were. We're gonna do that again, but in joyful child's pose. So you're gonna hold your toes or your shins, whatever you can reach, and then lift up. So head, heels, hips, reach, 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 breathe in. And then exhale, let it go. Take one leg down, the other leg in close, and you can rock your ankle. So I want you to breathe length down this leg and a soft knee if you're prone to hyperextend. You can rock the ankle as long as you want, however you need. And then even if you want to rock a little, you can take the opposite hand on your thigh and just rock that leg. I just want you to find a stretch for your body. Just one more moment. And then gently bend that knee and we'll switch. Other leg comes up. Upper leg extends and roll the ankle. Soft knees and lengthen with breath the back of your body. And then exhale and take both legs up, but nice and gentle. I want you to place your hands right beneath your tailbone and that's gonna help you being legs up the wall. So the privilege of you being at your house is you might wanna do legs up the wall as it's intended. So you're going to scoot your butt against a wall and then lay back and spin your feet up. So what this does is it nourishes all the joints in the lower half of our body and it helps your circulation. And it's also shown to help you sleep. So if you have insomnia, this is a great pose. It comforts. So in the time where you need comfort, I encourage you to do this as often as you want. And see if there's any tight spaces. So maybe you want to turn your thumbs out and tuck your shoulders under to open your heart. And just allow the nourishment to come in. Now, if you practice yoga a lot and you really want your shoulder stand, you're welcome to rise up. So the key there is that length we've been practicing between our tailbone and our crown. Well, there's no crunching on your bone. So the ideal is that you're only on your muscle when you're in a shoulder stand. And if you'd like to have plow, and you know that pose, you're welcome to hinge at the hips, take your feet down and find your plow. But again, it's all about length and staying on your muscle, avoiding any pressure on your bone. So take a couple more moments to breathe in whatever inversion your body wants at this moment. Scan for discomfort and see if you can allow it and soften it. Possible, and if not, just accept with love and comfort to those spaces. And then if you're in plow or shoulder stand, gently roll down. If your legs up the wall, just bend your knees, roll to one side, and find yourself back on the middle of your mat. And getting ready for a little deeper relaxation. 
If you did cobbler's pose before, so I want you to do that again where your feet are together, knees are open, and supta baddha katasana, and arms can go overhead. So you can start in a fun way, just reaching your hands, letting your ribs pop, opening the whole front body, and then exhale and sink. So elbows can bend, and you can hug your arms, or just let yourself relax. And let this whole pose open you. I want you to feel the sinking into the ground, the letting go in your body. Maybe you've been holding a lot lately. Give yourself a moment of care. Let yourself let go of all you've been holding on to and be held instead. Feel the ground holding you up. Feel your breath and how you don't have to produce any effort for that. It too is holding you alive. And then for a little extra comfort and care, similar to how we started, place one hand deep on your belly and the other either on your heart or right below the left side of your chest, you might be able to find your heartbeat. And just breathe, feel the rise and the fall in your hands. Feel the beat or the warmth underneath your palms. And I really want you to notice how your body is caring for you. It always has been. You've never needed to earn care, to earn worthiness, to earn dignity, comfort. Your body has always seen you and cared for you from within. Now I want you to feel the air on the tip of your nose. Feel how it comes in a little cooler and goes out a little warmer. And notice that same air on the skin around you. Notice its temperatures. Notice how you're relying on it to stay alive. Another sign that you're held, you're cared for, you have not needed to hold yourself up. And then find your most relaxing position. So if you want a little something warm, like a sweater, you can put it on. And I want you to be able to relax for just a moment. So if you have the time or if you want to come back to this video, allow your body to relax. You might want to bend your knees. If you have low back, that needs cared for. Let your knees rock in. Or you can lengthen into full Shavasana with your hands out. Or keep your hands where you can feel your breath and heartbeat. And then take another exhale where you completely sink. In these next few moments, we're going to use our awareness because the more we do, the more we practice this, the more we're able to respond to our lives in positive ways and let go of reacting in a split second. This is how we grow to be calmer versions of ourselves. So another exhale, feeling the weight and even coming heavier into your body. And then start to become aware of all the sounds you can hear. Hello, my voice, but the things near and far, quiet and loud. And let them all float as if you're aware of them and they're all passing clouds and you're the clear blue sky aware of this. And then start to notice sensations. What do you feel? How many temperatures, textures, how many tastes or smells? And let them all float. Again, they're just passing clouds. You get to choose if you're going to react to them. You don't have to get worked up. So let them pass. Let your awareness watch them. And then we're going to do that inside. So take a nice deep breath and then exhale. And inhale, notice your forehead. And exhale, smooth it out. Let it widen and relax. Inhale, feel the muscles behind the eyes. And exhale, let them soften and your cheeks and your jaw relax. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, relax your head back so your neck can soften. Inhale, feel your heart. And exhale, sink your upper back down so your chest can widen. Inhale, notice your belly. Let it breathe open. And then exhale, sink your back down 
so your belly can feel free. And take a breath and feel your arms, feel the weight of your hands. And as you exhale, let them sink and relax. Take a nice deep breath in and feel your glutes. And as you exhale, let them sink so your hips can widen. And now your legs, breathe in. Become aware of them all the way down to your feet. And as you exhale, let them splay and relax. And then come into your breath. Feel the rise and the fall. For the next few moments, really notice your breath. Notice every inhale. Notice that little switch in between with every exhale. Without needing to change it, simply watch your breath for a few moments. Give yourself the privilege of rewiring your brain and just being. You do not need to hold anything. So if your mind wanders to a thought or a feeling, that's okay. Just bring it back to your breath without any judgment. Letting it all go as if a passing cloud. And take a moment here and just pause. Scan your body. Is anything tight that you could soften? And now soak in something positive, something you're grateful for, that you created by doing your practice. One more moment soaking in that positive. And then very gently start to move by wiggling your fingers and toes, waving them up, and then roll your wrists and your ankles. And for a moment, just be amazed by a simple thought your body's made of. And just the miracle of your own body. And then what would feel good next? Maybe you want to bend the knees. You could either hug them in and you could rock. You could windshield wiper. You could sway. Or even just stretch long. Anything that feels good. And then roll to one side. They say that the left side will help you feel more awake as your right side will help you feel more relaxed and ready for bed. And take a moment to just breathe and again to feel the ground and how it's holding you. Let it cradle you for another moment so you can be cared for. One more moment breathing, feeling your own body's care. And then as you're ready, just gently come in to sit up, nice and tall. Find your posture. And we'll finish together with a deep breath, inhaling into your neck. And exhale, namaste. So thank you again for doing this practice. We need comfort and moments of care and uh, uncertainty more than ever. And so I invite you to check out this page and to do this practice as often as you want. And again, my name is Rachel Heise. If we haven't met, I would love to see you and meet you um, in the future when we resume classes at West End. I currently teach Saturdays at 7.30 a.m. And I would love to meet you. So thank you so much. May you be well. May you stay safe and be healthy. Namaste.